You know, as I'm drinking this, I'm reminded of the, the gif of Shaq drinking a normal sized water bottle. Like, how fucked is that, that a human being can be that massive? Jesus. That's so fucky. Isn't that fucky? That's a word that we kind of need to put out there a bit more, saying things are fucky. I don't know, it's kind of funny. It's kind of fucky. I can't do a snot rocket. I'm not sick anymore. Hey, all you hype beasts. Hey, all you boys whose dicks were removed at birth. Hey, all you boys whose dishes were cleaned at birth. I have an insatiable desire to pummel a kid right now. Not just once, four times in a row, dealing two damage each time. I don't seriously want to do that, that's just a joke. I would much rather give them a hearty spanking. There are some raging storm clouds out in the distance right now, and I swear, if they interrupt me, that'll make for a really cool moment. So I'm really desiring for that to happen. On this episode of iDubs Complains, I'm gonna be complaining about streetwear. Street gear. The clothes that turn you from a loser, virgin, beta cuck male, beta prostate faggot into a god, an epic god that people are envious of. Oh, I forgot to put these shoes up here. This is my presentation thing. That's whatever I'm gonna be talking about, I'm gonna put it on the presentation pad. Today it's shoes. I'm not wearing these ones right now because they got poop on the bottom. A big dookie from a big Doberman. A big dookie from a big Great Pyrenees. I've been watching some frustrating vids lately that just uh, fucking twist my gonads in the wrong direction. And that is complex sneaker shopping. It's really not that complex, believe it or not. It's more like simple, basic sneaker shopping. Cause that's really what the, the hobby is. It's pretty basic at this point. It, it, it's totally passed me by. Cause I didn't even know it was really like that big of a thing, sneaker shopping, but uh, it is. It's a big effing deal. You got names like Whoopi Goldberg, Pete Davidson, Ariana Grande. I can't really say Pete Davidson without saying Ariana Grande. Casey Neistat, Marquez Brownlee, Chum Lee, a kid from Stranger Things. You got Sal and Buddy Pranky. They both prank a lot, the pranksters of New York. All sorts of weird people you wouldn't expect. I'll give it to the rappers. I'll give it to the athletes. Lil Wayne, yeah, you're a sneaker guy, sure. I'll even give it to the white rappers, you know. Eminem, sure. You're into shoes and you're into fucking jewelry. This simple sneaker shopping makes everyone think that it's everyone's hidden passion. It's like, I don't want Whoopi Goldberg to be like, I've been following shoes for the past 17 decades. I want her to be like, you know, I got a coin collection. Kevin Hart. I mean, Kevin Hart, come on, you're a comedian. Have some weird thing that you're into. Now, the kid from Stranger Things, it's just a hot thing right now, right? It's streetwear. So he's absolutely, you know, going bonkers over it. Just like all the other young kids his age, you know, they stand around in a circle and they admire each other's thousand dollar jeans. Got for retail in the Louis Vuitton store in Copenhagen around $500. My uh, sweatshirt is uh, $200. Jagged around 20 pounds. My bag, 100 pounds. Uh, the shirt is 50. I don't like this shit. It's fucking creepy. It's watching some weird dystopian film where kids are in control of everything. It was like watching Lord of the Flies if it took place in an outlet mall. Ooh, it is moist. I don't even know if it's their money. I mean, that's a whole nother fucking topic, right? Is the idea that these kids are even, even spending their own money. I'm doubtful of the ones that even look older. It's Pume jeans jacket, 250 watch. Young Hans, 1.5K. My glasses, vintage, uh, Ray-Ban, 120. $45 thermal from uh, Zara. Micro penis, 35 euros. Crippling insecurity, 65 euros. My butthole, it's like mm, 25 pounds. How are they so accurate with the cost of these things? I don't know the cost of what I'm wearing at any point in time. This hammer is like two pounds. Three ounces. That's a fucking terrible joke. That's fucking retarded. This hammer. This is my hammer. No, it's my hammer, nigga. Oops, I dropped my hammer. So what I really want to hear from these kids isn't the brand and how much it costs. What I want to hear is how much it costs 
and then I want to I want to hear where the money was acquired. Working a really intense paper route, going door to door selling chocolate bars. Reversible 1,500. Gucci pants 1,150 pounds. What the hell, bruh? You think all these kids have just like accrued a ton of wealth? What about this disgusting kid? with the pants and the shirt, like this whole outfit, it's rancid. Why in the world? So you get robbed? I don't see any purpose. So you could look like a god? There's a fucking helicopter overhead. <laughs> Helicopters piss me off. You know, I see an interesting dichotomy now that I'm thinking about it between like the nerds and geeks of the world who, who aren't seen as cool and the hype beasts out there. The hype beasts are probably like 10 times more insecure than these people who will like shout from the rooftops, I'm a brony. I love watching my favorite hentai while I'm at Comic-Con. It's amazing that you have the confidence and the courage to say that. It's all dress up is what it is, right? Because it's like, it's really no different than cosplay. It's like, how much money are you gonna spend on your cosplay costume? How much money are you gonna spend on this like, I guess normal wardrobe that you would absolutely fuck hate if it got destroyed. It's my, it's my problem with shoes as well, right? It's like, sneakers have ascended to a higher plane of existence. They are no longer to cushion your feet from the rough terrain below. They are instead a, 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 an attractive thing. Yeah, I'd like, I'd really like to put that up to a test. See how many like women are like oozing out of their pussy when they see like a man in a pair of Yeezits over a man in a pair of, I don't know, fucking these things. And I think that's my main problem with sneaker connoisseurs is this idea that there's assumed risk when you take your $500 sneakers out into the world. If you're collecting sneakers or you have expensive sneakers, fucking don't wear them out in public. Just keep them in your shoe closet and then play dress up at home. To further my point on this, you have Kanye, who's gonna take off his nice white shoes to enter a construction site. Now that, that, that might seem like some sort of weird fucking oxymoron, because it is. And Kanye refuses to get his new white 350s dirty in the dirt. Ain't gonna happen. I realize we've ascended, you know, that's where we're at now. But I, I want there to be a term for it. We're at the point where we're using objects counter to their intended purpose. You know, it'd be as if I was in a rainstorm and I took off my rain jacket because I didn't want it to get wet. One thing I need you guys to remember is that this isn't necessarily a bad thing. I'm just sort of pointing out a possible next step in human evolution. In a couple years, if, if the new poppin' thing is to do the crab dance in, in a kiddie pool full of bull semen, then of course, I'm gonna take my clothes off before I do that. I'm not an idiot, guys. I may look like a moron, but I'm not an idiot. It looks like another deluge is rolling in, so I'm gonna have to wrap this video up. I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. This has been iDubs Complains about Hype Geek. Cool hat, man. That's a the one. Aya. Okay. No. Big wet log, like 3,200 krona. I don't know, friend gave it to me. It cost him a lot of krona. And I said to him, I said, quit spending your krona so recklessly. You are not impressing me by buying the supreme wet log.